We're better than halfway through the year of our Lord 2024, and we've seen some high highs, the lowest of lows, and things that are somewhere in between that, honestly, I'm not mad at, just kind of disappointed. Welcome back, club members. It's been a long time, and I'm sorry for the wait. While doing dad things and working, I decided to save my pennies and get a Steam Deck, a beautiful, sleek, sexy hunk of handheld that has been doing the heavy lifting of all the games my middle-aged laptop, like my middle-aged body, tends to struggle with. The game I bought with it right away turned out to be one of my surprise favorites this year and the topic of today's video, Mullet Mad Jack, a beautiful game that's what you get if the original Doom and Hotline Miami went on a romantic dinner to the Sizzler watched when Harry met Sally in the theater, and then conceived this gorgeous tribute to late 80s and 90s anime and pop culture. If you were alive when anime like Akira, Angel Cop, and the original Ghost in the Shell were brand new, then you're going to be in for a treat. It's 2095 and you play as Jack Banhammer, a guy who's into awesome cars, awesome hair, and presumably awesome lollipops, and he's been enrolled by the Peace Corporation, or Peace Corp for short, to save the influencer princess from evil robillionaires, robots with lots of money and more personality than our real-life billionaires, who have kidnapped her. The prize, other than a hot anime chick with 80s hair that would make Brett Michaels jealous, is a new pair of high tops, because in this dystopic future, people are still consuming as much as possible and need, and I really mean need, the dopamine provided from their phones or else they'll actually die without it. We're not quite there yet in real life, but give us time. Like so many games now, and our actual lives, this takes place in a corporatized dystopia, and it carries a sense of humor and satire that I immediately loved, but at times it also makes its commentary on our own culture more apparent, and it's the perfect way that it switches between the two that I really liked. Many times it doesn't take itself too seriously, and Jack will spout off one-liners while blasting robots, and then at points the game will make a statement about consumerism and just the general shittiness of things that hits close to home, and it kind of makes you think and reflect. All of that works flawlessly in the world that developer Hammer95 created, because you'll see nods here and there to 90s pop culture and anime, so there's this familiarity sprinkled throughout all the robot shooting you'll be doing, and if you stop to smell the roses, you'll really appreciate these extra touches. You'll see lots of neon lights and vibrant colors with robot blood getting splashed across them, things exploding all over the place, and if you're one of those people that shouldn't be playing games because you'll have a seizure, then you're going to be swallowing your tongue and soiling your pants in no time flat as the action starts to ramp up. If you're like me, that's just a Wednesday afternoon. And the action in this is simple but moves at such a breakneck speed that you barely have time to think through many of the levels. See, you have over 80 floors to make it up, with each 10 floors being a chapter in the game. In each of those floors, you have 10 seconds to live, which ticks down normally, and also drops as you take damage. You gain those precious seconds back by killing your enemies as stylishly as possible. Headshots, nut shots, kicking them into explosives, performing finishing moves with scattered melee weapons, all of it is here for you so that you can plow through all of your enemies on the way to the goal in each level. Upon reaching that goal, you'll get to pick a random perk that will get you a new gun, faster running, or some other advantage. On the 10th floor, you'll get to fight one of the Robillionaire bosses, pick a permanent perk, and then advance the story and keep going. Where Hotline Miami's top-down view rewarded fast reflexes, but also allowed you time to plan out how you were going to take out all your enemies in one long, gory combo, Mullet Mad Jack is first person, it doesn't let you get an overview of your environment, and just wants you to find your flow in the gameplay, and when I was playing my best, I wasn't thinking about what was going on, and instead just kind of moved in a series of dashes, shots to the face, and explosions as I'd make it to the end of each floor. Because it's so fast-paced, you'll clear the main story within a few short hours, but the game has enormous replayability. Beating the game gets you endless mode where you can compete with others online for a high score and work toward your next set of shoes to win. Multiple difficulties will also give you a greater challenge, or if you work for Kotaku or IGN, you can drop the difficulty as much as possible before you write your negative review saying the game isn't diverse enough or something. While this is a digital-only release, the game also features an unboxing mode that works almost like a history lesson at the museum, a tongue-in-cheek look at how us old guys used to buy our PC games and what they included. It's a funny and charming departure from the game itself, but it was also a little depressing to be reminded of how much more fun it used to be to buy a game and all the extra stuff that came with it. If I know you, the viewer, as well as I think I do, you probably miss this as much as I do too. 
Anyway, I've done enough trips down memory lane in my other videos, so I'll spare you another one. But Mullet Mad Jack is an awesome game that plays like an indie game from 2024, but also looks somehow like it belongs in the late 80s and early 90s, if things were even capable of looking as sharp as this that long ago. It's got a ton of style and the action is great, and it's paired up with a fun story with some spot-on commentary about just how bad our corporatism and consumerism has become. If any of that sounds good, then I wholeheartedly recommend you pick this up. That's all for today's review. Thanks for watching.